Okay, so uh, looking at the the power production model for a retreat, the way a lot of people are doing it and advising it to be done is you, you're going to have a main house someplace because it's rural property anyway. So with the 200 amp service, um, this is a 100 amp service, it's a hell of a good start. For somebody who's going to live somewhat frugally as far as their power usage goes, this should do pretty good. Depending on uh, whether or not you're going to be running washing machines, electric water heaters, other, other uh, large power consumption stuff, we want to add power to this. However, the, the cost of running power to an off-grid property usually starts at about $30,000. That $30,000 invested in the off-grid system used to be still a question of whether or not it was worth somebody's time. Right now, I can do a, a $30,000 system I can run commercial property on $30,000, okay? I can provide commercial property level stuff. If you're looking at a main lodge house, we're looking at a single time cost, uh, a, single uh, a, a single purchase for the whole thing. Now, whether or not you'll get the tax incentive credits out of that, that's a little bit of a question on whether or not it's, it's on grid or off grid or whether or not you're going grid tie. And that's the type of situation where we may have to call a, an electrical contractor out to sign off on everything um, or do final connection sign off on things. So with this type of rig, uh, we would be looking at a 200 amp service, for a 100 to 200 amp service for a lodge house, and then probably a 30 amp service for each RV parking spot. And if we build the RV parking spots off grid, they may or may not have their own septic. You, you may want to do a carry away septic service with that or, or outhouses or something like that. Then each, each RV spot, uh, we're going to be a little under $2,000 for the RVs to be able to pull up or people who just come up in tents and whatever and be able to set up at that. And you're generally going to want some full-time people living there because there, there are thieves that will unbolt and steal the stuff. On the other hand, it's, it's easier for them to steal the generator too. So if we're going to put these in for an RV spot, um, you, you can PM me through the YouTube channel and we can discuss whether or not it's, it's kind of worth it to pay for my travel to get out there and get it installed. But I wanted to show what this stuff is, how we're, we're doing it. And then I'll, I'll get some pictures at the one retreat where we're putting this in. However, maintaining client privacy is a very high priority of mine. There are some people who might be seeing this who remember a previous business that I was in. And um, my dedication to maintaining private cl pri client privacy um, was 100% under those circumstances. So um, this, this is a good little part of what we're going to be doing here in the near future. That's it.